I'm going to do this tree of life again. Uh, I did a video before to show how to divide it into three panels uh, for Hank and I just realized as I watched my video today that I really put a lot more steps into it than were necessary to accomplish the task. So I'm going to do this design again. I'm going to do it faster in less steps and I'm going to give you a way to uh, make this happen. Now the dimension on this tree from quadrant to quadrant is 40, well, 48 inches. I didn't actually click on the quadrant precisely, but 48 inches. All right, let's go ahead and scale that and make sure. I'm going to say scale quadrant to quadrant. And we'll make it 48 exactly. There it is. Okay, good. So, um, I think what I'm going to do uh, for this video is I'm going to turn off my advanced design and strict, strictly do this with basic design. Um, and uh, it will remove some of the features that I really enjoy. The advanced is actually worth the money. Uh, I know it's $1,000 or 998 or 988 or whatever Plasma Cam's price is, but uh, it is worth the money. But I'm going to turn off my um, advanced design for this video. So as you can see right now, when I hit my tab key, I am in basic design. Um, it has removed a lot of the features that I really enjoy with the advanced design setting. But um, uh, this will allow me to do uh, what I want to do with this video. And I'm going to do it in basic for you folks that don't have advanced design. Okay, so we're going to divide this tree of life into three equal panels that are going to hang on a wall. The panels are going to be spaced apart uh, a certain distance. And they're going to be, uh, it, it's going to maintain this round shape. And we're going to lose as little bit of the tree detail as we can when we do this. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move it up a little bit here. Uh, what I need is a reference. I need a reference for the center of this design. So I'm going to do a bar down here and I'm going to say at 48 comma 3. Enter. I'll move it from the midpoint here to the quadrant here. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a circle in that. I'll say Q2, enter, and put it in the center of that uh, bar. And all this reference bar is, is is a place to put a design later on if I, if I need it there. And I'll show that to you. Okay, so we're going to divide this into three. I'm going to do a line from... I'll go this node here. It doesn't matter. I can just start at that node, and I'll say at 0, 0,48 and it gives me a 48 inch line escape uh, straight up at the quadrant of this circle because this box is 48 inches wide so of course the circle is 48 inches wide and a vertical line would of course hit the quadrant right there. The next thing I'm going to do is do an array and it's going to be a rectangular array of four pieces one vertical and no Z offset. I'm going to say OK and I'll give it a distance of 16 inches and hit enter. What that does is it divides a 48 inch wide circle into three 16 inch panels. All right. The next thing I can do is get rid of this line and this line because I don't need them. All right. Now if we just cut this design right here and you spaced them out and mounted them on a wall, you'd get that funny little M at the top and the W at the bottom because you would lose the round shape of the circle. So in order to maintain the round shape, we have to remove a section of this design down the center here. Uh, let's get a dimension if we can. I don't think... It, uh, see, basic design doesn't have it. With advanced, you could say Control D and measure from the quadrant to the quadrant here and it would give you the exact dimension. But I happen to know it's 1.877. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bar down the center the same distance. Let's see, can I do that? 
Yes, I can. I'm going to make it the same distance as the, the sides. And uh, when that is uh, divided in half, it comes out to 0 0.9385. So, so pay attention. I'm going to say offset 0.9385, enter. And I'm going to offset to there and to there and to there and to there. Okay. And then I'm going to take those center lines and make them disappear. Now this space right here is the same width as the border of the circle. All right. I can go ahead and trim those out if I want, I guess. Sure. Why not? All right, but if this is going to be a space, then the this side of this crescent and this side of this crescent and the two sides of the center section have to have something to hold the design together. I don't want it to be that wide of a strip because it's going to take too much of the detail of the tree away. So I'll make it a half inch wide. I'm going to say offset 0.5, enter, and I'll click there and there. And there and there escape and now what that gives me is my um, my three panels okay um, the next thing we want to do is make a copy of this I'm going to say copy and I'll just click my mouse and say ortho and just make another copy right over here like that and the reason we're going to do that is because I'm going to create the two outside crescents here and I'm going to create the center section with this design and then I'm going to use this register circle to put the center right back where it belongs so we can check it at the end of this video here so let's go to this first section here and um, since this is going to be the crescent and this is going to be the space, I can get rid of these inside lines here and here. All right. And then instead of going with the break tool and hitting all of these intersections like I did in the last video, which was time consuming and tedious, and it, it occurred to me that isn't even necessary to do because design is just so fantastic. <laughs> So I'm going to use my Trim Extend Tool X and I'm going to simply get rid of everything that falls in between the two designs and crosses over that rib that I've made for the side panel. All right. And you can see how much quicker this is than trying to do this with the break tool as I did in the last video. All right. We'll get rid of that and we'll get rid of that and that all right uh, we have a couple of th oops gotta, gotta get rid of that and let's see f1 we'll get rid of that anything that crosses over or, or crosses outside of that rib needs to go I'll trim that off too and let's see trim that off there and I'll get rid of that and is there anything else sticking out? No, there isn't. Okay. So we'll start with this first crescent here. This is going to be a piece of metal right here. And these leaves are going to be metal, of course. So I want to get rid of those lines because that piece is going to carry around, right? Then anywhere that the pattern, the, anywhere that the steel crosses into the rib, I also want to get rid of the junction there to, to allow it to cross over. So that would be here and it would be this leaf here, that leaf there. I'll leave that one. That's enough of a detail. This stem here. Now this is completely inside the uh, border. So I'm going to delete it. All right. I'll go back to my X trim extend tool, trim those out there like that. Let's see, this is another branch. I'll trim that branch out there like that. And I will get rid of this piece. Be careful what you're clicking on and deleting. 
and that piece there and then I'll go down to the bottom and we have the branch sticking out there and we have the branch sticking out there like that and I'm gonna get rid of this little piece right there delete now if I hit F2 and I zoom out and join that that joins everything that was cut and then I'll take this and I'll group it oh can't group it uh, look at that in basic design I very seldom use basic because I have advanced so I'm not familiar actually with what commands are and are not available I guess I'm learning a little something myself right now okay so I can't group it but that's okay I'll just leave it like that and we're gonna do the same thing on this panel over here F3 I'm gonna cut in and we'll trim that out anything that's sticking out of the frame page up <laughs> got a little carried away there let's see I want this and this and that there we go and the leaf Since I'm in the trim tool, I can't get rid of these things. See, there's it won't let me trim because there's nothing to trim them off of. So I'll come back and delete those. But anything in the design that's going from this vertical rib into the tree will be trimmed. Okay, now see this little leaf here? I'm going to delete that completely because that little piece of a leaf right there is just going to look like a flaw in the design so if I delete that I think that'll look better that's just a personal choice and I'll delete this here and then we'll go down and we'll get this stem now we got to be careful because what is stem and what isn't <laughs> it's gonna be a little tricky to pick out here that's stem that goes and then this goes and this goes okay and then we can go back up and I'll take that piece there and delete it. I'll move up, get that little piece right there and delete it. That piece and delete it. Okay, F2 and I'm going to join all of that, J. And so there's my left panel and my right panel and now I need my center panel. So we're going to go over here F3 and notice I'm leaving this registration circle and frame down there um, the frame actually isn't even necessary anymore I, I guess I could delete those all you need is that center circle okay but now we want this center panel and this center panel is going to be from here to here and everything else outside of that is going to be deleted so I'm going to get rid of these white lines that way my trim tool will grab more of what I'm trying to get rid of to delete. All right. And then I'm going to use my trim extend tool and I'm going to get rid of everything on the outside. I'll just go down this side first. This is much faster than using the break tool for the individual intersections like I did in the last video. I apologize if I made anyone's life miserable, <laughs> but uh, I got sidetracked and I did not incorporate that into the video. Okay, so I'm going to leave that little circle down here because that's how I'm going to register it with the other pieces. Okay, uh, that gets deleted. This little piece right down there, X, gets deleted, F2 and escape I guess I can take those out too right delete and delete all right so we're going to do the same thing we did with the center panels I'm going to use my trim extend tool X and I'm going to get close in here and just go down this rib and anything that crosses over becomes incorporated into the rib uh, rib and anything anything that is freestanding just simply gets removed okay 
I don't think we're going to have any anything freestanding on this side. It doesn't look like it. Mm. Well. I think that's going to cause an issue. Well, let's see. This is 48 inches. That's a half inch. No, that'll be all right. That'll do it. If it was a small piece, I would I would change that leaf so that the uh, torch doesn't take it out. <laughs> but I think it'll be fine the way it is. That, that, and that. Okay, and then we're gonna go over to the other side and do the same thing going back up. That, and that. That. Uh-oh, let's see. Page up. I want this one. Wait a minute. What am I looking at here? That's a branch. That's a branch that gets cut out there. Oh. Okay. I see. I thought that was a leaf. That's not a leaf. That's a branch. Okay. So that branch gets cut there and it gets cut there. And there, that's what I wanted, right there. That's the one, okay. Sometimes it gets a little confusing. You look at a design, here we have a straggler. You have a design and it it's kind of hard to pay attention to what you're cutting away and what you're leaving behind. And sometimes, you know, when you're thinking in positive and negatives, it's more easy in, uh, uh, more easily done with advanced design but for this demonstration, I'm only using basic. Okay. And I kind of handicapped here because I'm, I'm so spoiled with advanced design. Okay, that's a leaf and that is a branch. And that's a leaf there. And that's the trim. Okay. F2, we'll zoom out. I'll take this without that bottom circle and join it and now i have three panels all right let's get a little closer to look at them right here and oh we got a little straggler right there i forgot to remove that we'll take that one out and what we have now is we have there's another straggler right there i'll take that one out i'm looking for little white specks that don't belong there okay we're looking good so now I'm going to take this panel here and I'll just, I'm not going to move it. I'll just, uh, well, yeah, I can move it. What the heck? It won't matter. I'll say move from the center of this circle here to the center of this circle here. Those are my reference points. And you can see that what I end up with is, I'll delete this and delete this. I now have three panels. I've maintained the shape of the tree and the branches crossing over the gaps. You see, the geometry is still there. The center ribs that hold the design together are a half inch wide on each side of the gap that's equal distant to this side. I think that looks pretty good right there like that. Let's light it up a little bit and see if we can get a look at it. What do you think? I do think that looks better and I think that would cut very well. So now I'm going to bring in advanced design for a second here just to show you what this would look like. Okay. With advanced design, you have a lot more options in your design tab and one of them is to show solid closed paths. So now you can see, we can look at this and say, oh yeah, now we can see what it's going to look like as metal. And even with advanced design, let's say we were going to paint it green. You could turn off your screen colors and change them. We'll make the background white. We will make the closed paths a nice little foresty green here. And we will make the cut paths, I'm sorry, the closed path uh, uh, fill the same color. Okay, and okay. And now you can see what that's gonna look like when you cut that panel and hang it on your wall.
It'll be three separate panels, but it's still a symmetrical circle and the tree, the actual design of the tree has not been disturbed. It's just got these two sections removed in order to create it into three panels. I do offer free online training right now. Uh, it won't be free forever, but it's free right now. <laughs> Uh, mainly because uh, I have the time and since we're all shut in with this stupid coronavirus um, I'm here at the house and my computer's all set up to do online training um, What you would do to find out about it is send your contact information to me a name address phone number uh, the machine you're running the software you're running and also any upgrades that you have added to that software. Send that information to me uh, at this email address, add me now at mail.com, and I'll get back to you and tell you how to set up your computer so that we can uh, video conference in a conference room online over the internet, and I will be more than happy to spend time with you and walk you through anything that you need help with. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm not an expert at this, I'm pretty good with Design Edge, but I still learn new things every day, such as <laughs> why I'm redoing this Tree of Life video. It occurred to me that uh, I had done way too many steps in the other video, and this is a faster way to accomplish the same thing. So I'll, I'll watch, your, uh, watch for your email when you send it to me, and I'll get back to you. I'm also, uh, if they lift this travel ban and, and, and the zombie apocalypse ends, uh, I will be traveling uh, to various places around the country, and I do one-on-one -on -one personal training at your home or your office. Uh, I charge $400 a day for that training, and um, that basically covers all of my expenses. It's not really a profit thing, but it costs that much for gas, food, hotel, and the cost of maintaining my home while I'm away. So... Uh, if you're interested in that, um, most of the training sessions that I do are three days. Some people have hired me for as many as five. Some people have only hired me for one uh, because they're pretty good with the software and they go, well, I just want to work on this one issue. Okay. I go out to where they are and I help them with the one issue and um, then I leave. I shake hands. I made a new friend and things work out really well. Um, keep this in mind and let me know if I can be of help to you. And I sure hope you've enjoyed this video.